Hello everybody. Today I'm going to show you a feature that you can add to Windows Vista that should have been part of the operating system when it first shipped. And that is a volume indicator bar. If you have a multimedia keyboard that has a volume up and down keys on them, uh, you will realize that when you put the volume up or down or you mute the, on the keyboard, uh, it doesn't show it on the screen. So you basically have to guess what level you, your volume is at. Well, this feature will allow you to show you on screen a volume bar that will slide up and down as you put the volume on the keyboard and also show you if it's on mute or not. So it makes it really nice. This feature is only for Windows Vista. It will not work for XP. So if you try to install this on XP, it will crash on you. So don't try it. Um, so in the video following now, I will show you how to install this on Windows Vista. I got you covered if you have XP. I added on the website uh, another utility that is similar to the one I'm going to show you now. Uh, it doesn't look as fancy, but it will do the job and it will show you the volume uh, bar on screen so you at least you know what your volume on the keyboard is. So this will make it really nice. So I have you covered on XP and on Vista. Take a look at the video and remember to visit rmstech.com for more information regarding uh, the software you need to download, the links for the software, and the website where you have to download the Vista indicator bar. Thank you and I appreciate you watching my video. Okay, first we need to install the .NET Framework 3.5 version from Microsoft. And I will click on that and get it to install. This installation takes a long time. It takes 5 to 10 minutes to install depending on your computer. Um, in this video, I actually went ahead and skipped a little bit so that you see it. I have the two files that we're going to need here on the desktop. So we're going to install first the Framework 3.5. Once you install this version, uh, then you can install the uh, Vista Volume Indicator. Uh, remember to visit aramistech.com for more information so you can download uh, these two programs. I will have the links there. Uh, on the website, you will see the links for uh, the Vista Volume Indicator and the Microsoft Framework 3.5. That way it will make it easier for you to, to just go there and click on everything and download it. Once it, it, it starts uh, installing, you'll see it comes up on the screen and uh, it's going to download some files so you have to make sure you are connected to the internet. Uh, when the first screen comes up, choose that, you know, uh, accept the license agreement and that's the only thing you mark. Leave the rest in blank and click to install. Now it's going to download a bunch of files that it's doing and uh, once it's completed like I said it, it'll take a little bit to download all these files depending on your internet connection and then it'll start installing the actual program in this video I did skip ahead so you will see uh, a little bit of shorter time frame that it'll take you to install this uh, but I did this so the video wouldn't be as long but it, it will take you five to ten minutes possibly a little longer depending on your computer Once it's completed installing, because now, for example, you're at the screen where it installs. One, once it's completed installing the file, uh, you will get another screen that will uh, confirm the installation that it, it was completed correctly. You will have to restart your computer at the end of this, so keep that in mind. You'll see that in the video following up. You'll see a black screen pop up also, like on a DOS screen. Um, once it's ready, just click exit and you will get uh, just wait a second for it and you will get a restart screen come up uh, click to restart because we need to restart that first before we install the Vista volume indicator uh, let the computer restart and once it comes back up and then we can get started installing the program uh, to see how this looks okay we're back in Windows again so now we're gonna install the Vista volume indicator we'll double click on it and then click on run and it's going to run the installation. Just click next, and make sure you mark start on user logon. It's uh, marked because you want to make sure it, it boots up every time. Click next, and uh, change the setting at the bottom to everyone instead of just me. That way, everyone that's a user on your computer will always have access to it. And then click next. Wait for the installation to of the software to be installed. It'll let you know once it's finished. It'll actually you have to wait for it, and and uh, you'll see how it looks. I shortened this video a little bit so you can see it, but I'm going through the whole installation so you can see how it actually goes through. Once it's completed, just click close. And now to activate it the first time, click on start. Click on all programs, 
and you'll see it there it says Vistion volume indicator double click on that and uh, it's gonna run and you'll see it wait a second and it'll pop up and it'll show you the little thing on the screen now you have it already installed it will go away and disappear but it's always running in the background uh, to access it for example just press your volume up keys on your keyboard I'm using here the Windows uh, volume so I can show you how it pops up and how it looks and you can mute it so you can see that and it's really neat because this way you know if the volume on your computer is really loud or it's slow before you run something but you can see when you customize it up and down it has that nice uh, Windows Vista feel I uh, hope you like this video and thank you for watching